Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 incredible things that you can do in the Cotswolds. So, the Cotswolds, a beautiful region in England, home to gentle rolling hills, stunning locations steeped in history, charming views and many wonderful hidden gems which I am going to sprinkle into this video among the more iconic locations so that you can get a slightly deeper look into the Cotswolds than you may have seen before. So let's begin right here with what is often considered the greatest landmark of the Cotswolds, Broadway Tower. The top of this tower is actually the highest point in the Cotswolds and so gives you breathtaking views of over 60 miles in each direction. Now, you can either park right next to Broadway Tower or the more adventurous of you may wish to park in the town of Broadway itself and do this short but steep climb up to the tower that takes approximately 30 minutes. The town of Broadway itself is also certainly worth a visit. It's definitely called the jewel of the Cotswolds for a reason. There are so many lovely shops, galleries and restaurants there. It really is the picturesque Cotswolds at its finest. So I'd like to show you a little bit of a hidden gem now that is actually very close to Broadway Tower and that is Snows Hill Manor. This is my personal favourite hidden gem that we found. It's an old house that was home to a man called Charles Wade in the 20th century. Now Charles Wade was a little bit of an eccentric. He spent pretty much his whole life collecting pretty much anything and everything from real Japanese samurai armor to hundreds of bicycles, musical instruments, and all of it is inside this house. What you got in? Some bugs, bugs, bugs painting, I don't know. I was just so amazed and intrigued about the stories behind these objects and just how they ended up here. And the views and gardens surrounding this house just add to it even more. So on to our next location now, which is uh, none other than Hogwarts itself. This is Laycock Abbey, technically just outside the borders of the Cotswolds, but too good not to include. This was used as a filming location for a variety of scenes in the Harry Potter movies. So you might recognize these cloisters and these rooms if you're a fan of wizards. The village of Laycock itself is beautiful as well. And it's also home to the Fox Talbot Museum, which tells the story and history of photography. As William Fox Talbot inherited Laycock Abbey in 1800 and created what is said to be the first ever photographic negative of this window that you can see right here. Which we certainly found very interesting as we were very interested in photography. Right, Ellie? Yeah. She's uh, designated to camera woman today. I am here. <laughs> she is behind the camera, but yeah. still present. Uh, always present. Always present, always watching. You can never escape me. <laughs> so on to my next point now, and I want to mention none other than one of the most epic hikes in England, and that is the Cotswold Way. This is a hiking path that starts in Chipping Camden and ends in the city of Bath, going through pretty much the entire length of the Cotswolds. It is 102 miles long and you pass through many of the locations that I am mentioning in this video along the way. I did once try to hike as much of this path as I could in one day, <laughs> which was uh, an insane challenge. If you do want to see me suffer, by the way, I will link that at the end of this video. Um, I was pretty much sore for a week <laughs> after it, but it was great fun and an amazing path. The next location is a little hidden viewpoint that is Tyso Windmill. There is a short and easy walk to get here across some fields and when you get to this windmill you will get great peaceful views over the rolling hills of the Cotswolds. And the windmill itself is a lovely addition to that view, although sadly it hasn't worked since 1915 when it was unfortunately struck by lightning. On now to my next location which is none other than a little taste of Japan in the Cotswolds. This is Batsford Arboretum, inherited by a man called Algernon Freeman Mitford in the 1800s. Throughout his life, he traveled a lot throughout Asia and fell in love with the landscapes. And so he developed this garden with Chinese and Japanese plants. The bamboo collection by itself that is here is absolutely amazing to see. If you touch it, it feels like plastic. It does. Yeah. yeah. What do you know? Now, if there is one image that you think of when you think of the Cotswolds, it could possibly be this one right here. 
it's just got it all. So for my next location, it's this location, <laughs> the village of Castle Coombe. There are so many amazing villages in the Cotswolds, I could never hope to put them all into one video without it being way too long. I did mention some of the others in my other Cotswolds video that you can watch after this if you are interested, although it is quite an old video, so please do forgive me for the horrible quality of some of it. <laughs> I definitely hadn't acquired all of my fancy editing skills <laughs> at that point. So on to another hidden gem now and some ruins that may look quite small, but their history is very interesting. These are the remains of Hales Abbey that was built in 1246 by Richard of Cornwall in an effort to thank God after he survived a shipwreck. Lots of big events happened at this small, relatively unknown abbey, uh, and it was also one of the last surviving in England after Henry VIII's dissolution of the monasteries in 1536. My next stop now is another iconic house of the Cotswolds, and that is Upton House and Gardens. This house is home to an impressive collection of art, and the gardens are beautiful as well. They've been left pretty much unmodified since the 1930s, so it is very much like a unique step back in time when you're exploring this place. Although, the swimming pool is not that great anymore. Why did he even bother having a pool? <laughs> I don't think he was warm enough, ever. Yeah, it's got a diving board and everything though. Yeah, well, you mean a diving plank. So we are starting to get towards the end of this video now, but for my next point, let's go right back to the start. Human prehistory, in fact, because this is Belas Nap Long Barrow. I accidentally stumbled across this on my ultra long Cotswold Way hike, and I don't think many people are even aware that this exists. It's a very well-preserved barrow dating back to the Neolithic period that was excavated in the 1960s, and they actually found the remains of 31 people in the chambers inside. And that leads me to my short epilogue of locations that are not quite in the Cotswolds, but are very close. So obviously, I gotta mention Stonehenge, right? It's so iconic and so close to the Cotswolds. And so is Avebury, which is Stonehenge's lesser known neighbor, but even more impressive in my opinion. Just to the north of the Cotswolds is Shakespeare's town of Stratford-upon-Avon, which is home to many beautiful sights and things to do. To the south are the cities of Bristol and Bath, of which the Roman Baths, of course, are a must visit. There's just so much to do in this gorgeous part of England. So I really hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you do want to see even more from all over the UK and to be honest, more in fact, please do consider subscribing. I mean, we are recording this in a park in Cyprus, believe it or not. That's why it's so sunny and warm. And yeah, I will see you in the next one and goodbye.